Trump News tonight, the link between the loss of smell and a neurodegenerative disorder. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mamente in the New Haven newsroom with what she found out about a major study underway on Parkinson's disease. Jocelyn. Sonia, I reported on the initial study a few years back. Now, that study led to this more expansive one. Researchers are looking deeper into loss of smell and its impact on Parkinson's disease. Hi. Welcome back. Bob Waxstein was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, a neurodegenerative disorder, four years ago. I was developing slight tremors in my right hand. Since then, researchers here at the Institute for Neurodegenerative Disorders in New Haven have a better understanding of a possible risk factor. Turns out that by far most people who, at the time that they develop what's apparent Parkinson's disease, have already largely lost their sense of smell. Bob was on a cruise years before his diagnosis when he realized something was wrong. The ship tied up next to a sewage treatment plant and everybody was holding their nose and I didn't notice anything. Now a more ambitious study is underway. We want to be able to identify and diagnose the disease very early, so hopefully we'll be able to intervene early. It begins with participants taking the smell identification test, where they scratch and sniff. Some of them are relatively easy and some of them are very hard. Then select one of four choices. Most people who lose their sense of smell are losing it for totally harmless and innocuous reasons. It's only a small subset of people who lose their sense of smell that it's an early sign of Parkinson's. Lead investigator neurologist Dr. David Russell is looking for people 60 years and older who have not been diagnosed with a neurological disease. Bob's younger brother Rick has taken the test. Out of the 40 samples, I think maybe I could identify two or three. Taking part, he says, is about advancing the research into what causes Parkinson's and developing more treatment. To me, it doesn't matter whether it's a small probability or a great probability, I'm one of those people that would rather know and rather work with it. This is an international study funded by the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Now I have a toll-free number for you. For more information, you can call this number, 877-625, rather 525-7764. Again, that's 877-525. 7764. You can also log on to our website, WTNH.com, and we'll link you to the study site. Sonia?